Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today, as we look at uh, more comparisons of stuff, um, I have the iPad Air versus my last iPad 3. So, um, 64 gig of memory, 64 gig of memory. A7 64 bit processor, A5 32 bit processor. So, um, does it make a difference? Well, let's take a look. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, physical comparisons aside, how does the software run? So let's take a look. Um, I don't have some of the latest games, but I have a few of them. So I'll, I'll take a look at one that some of them that were taxing for the previous system and see how well they run. Uh, in particular, let's take a look at one called Infinity Blade 2. Let's see how well they run side by side. Uh, all right, here we go. So we can see startup wise, the, the iPad Air has already gone through the, uh, the, the steps. Of the introduction. All right, so they're both sort of at the beginning of the game. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it looks like the the screen for the uh, for the iPad Air is a bit a little bit brighter than than the iPad Three. All right, so you can see here. For the most part, the game looks good on both both systems. So, all right, well, we'll, we'll get to this one because I'm not going to spend time playing that one. But let's... Um, Let's see what else we got. Let's uh, get rid of that one. Goodbye. Uh, some of the other games that are, are might be good for this would be XCOM is a good one. Let's take a look. All right, well, I'll flip this to the side here so that because uh, this will be a landscape game anyway. So here's XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Oh, wait, start before me. Hang on. All right, let's try this again. So as we can see, it looks like the the um, iPad Air definitely is a little bit faster starting up. Well, this one is sitting here waiting. There we go. Kind of funny, it took a little longer on the iPad Air to start up. Uh, it might be because I, I really haven't really played on this machine yet versus the other one. So this is a movie, so it's probably not a very fair comparison here. So I'm going to skip the movie. It'll let me. It'll let me. There we go. Now it's going to let me. So obviously the, the iPad Air loaded this faster. So I was able to get to the, the skip screen sooner. Uh, now, obviously, uh, I had not been able to transfer my game over here yet. So let's just take a look at the single player mode here and see uh, what we got going on here. Let's just do a new game on both and see what happens. And I'll just do normal, except the big defaults. So we can see that uh, the the air has already started up while that one's still thinking about starting the game up. So definitely a noticeable speed improvement as far as uh, you know, load times are concerned.
in general, the game looks just fine between the two. Alright, so obviously I'm at different points of the game, so obviously they they they're asking me to do different things. But um So we can see so far for for sure that the, the load times are definitely a lot better on the air when it comes to the games. Um hard to say for sure if the graphics uh are any, any different. But let's take a look at something else here. Let's take a look at uh uh, web browsing because one of the big things they say uh, obviously with the new one the air has two antennas for what they call uh, multiple input outputs for for so let's so I cleared my cache on both the browsers um, so let's take a look and just load up my blog just just a, as a um, t trial here and wow okay that came up really really fast <laughs> okay uh, that was pretty impressive uh, that was almost instantaneous and this one took a bit to come up um let's just try some other ones here it's uh some other place like i like to haunt let's uh let's see hmm what do we got uh well let's just let's go with uh and gadget uh and com. and i'll do that on here dot com all right we'll hit uh go at the same time here so you can see on the same wi-fi network um you know, i'm not sure if it's a credit to the dual antennas in here or just the fact that just in chunk through this information a lot faster uh but you know as you can see I mean, there's not much of an to say for scrolling wise. The interesting thing is I'm noticing as well is that both brightness settings on these uh, devices are set to, to maximum, as you can see from here. And the uh, the air appears brighter than the uh, than my three. So definitely increase in contrast and sharpness and uh, the way the display is brighter here uh, in comparison to the three, which is... Uh, I would probably say, well, maybe two years old by now, uh, or you know, you're a year and a half old. That's that's older version now. So, uh, so yeah, so definitely noticeable in, in that sense. So, I'm not sure what else we can look at besides uh, those those two particular things. Um, the only other programs that might be interesting to look at would be stuff like uh, Art Rage. Art Rage is a very um, CPU intensive application for drawing because it simulates natural media. So obviously, um, you know, that's going to be a bit of a difference uh, trying to trying to draw and paint on this thing on this thing. So on my two, you see it's kind of see it's kind of choppy. It's not able to keep up. Let's see how well it does here. Now it doesn't seem to have that particular problem here. See, it's uh, I'm actually at the same default brush settings over here. So I'll change it to a different color here. I'll change the uh, Change this to say uh, I'll keep the paintbrush. I'll keep the paintbrush for now, but let, let, let you know. But you can see if I draw here, see it's kind of has it struggles to keep up a bit. If I'm just drawing simple lines. It's, it's very sluggish. So here I don't have that particular problem. It's going through and it's very quick, as you can see from here. It's a little bit of lag. Just a little bit of lag. But that doesn't seem to be the case here, doesn't? So, so definitely, program very heavy CPU intensive programs like Art Rage uh, are going to be able to take advantage of the much stronger CPU that's in the A7 and the in the iPad Air versus the three. It's not surprising, uh, but it's a, it's a good example to see see where the future lies as more and more software start coming on board to take advantage of the increased processing power that's in the Air. We're going to see some more. Um, we're gonna see a lot more capabilities and more sophisticated software come out for the device. So, so it's 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 bold well for the future. So there we have it. Some performance looks between the two, the A the A7 the iPad Air versus the my my old good old trusty iPad 3. So thanks for watching.